Hey guys, it's Liz Parrish, and today we're going to talk about aging, longevity, and the phylogenic grocery store. Sounds really exciting. So let's get to it. When we look at aging and longevity and the phylogenic grocery store, what are we looking at? Essentially, we're looking at genes. What genes give us the predisposition to live longer and healthier than we have before? So if we look at humans compared to something like a primate, we definitely live longer even though we share many genes with them. When we look at something like the bowhead whale, who lives for a couple hundred years and doesn't get cancer, we notice very different things. And in science, we're trying to figure out what those differences are in those genes. Why do their genes express differently and what sort of advantage can we get from those genes? I like to call other species part of the phylogenic grocery store, meaning that they have potential gene technologies that we could integrate into our bodies in order to get maybe their advantage. So for instance, there are creatures in the sea that see in billions of colors rather than the mere millions that we see in. So what would the world look like? But there are also advantages like creatures who don't get cancer, who have the ability to regenerate. Creatures like the tardigrade that can be frozen and put into boiling water and still survive. Did you know that using one gene from the tardigrade called damage suppressor or DSUP for short, if you put that into human cells, they heal more quickly than they did in the past. So upregulating regeneration. If we look at something like the naked mole rat, we see a creature that outlives its peer group by a multitude of years. A rat, two to three years, a naked mole rat, over 20. So what is the difference? It literally comes down to the genes. Another good example of that is the bat. So a lot of scientists will say, you put wings on a mouse and it lives longer. But that's not entirely it. It's really in the genes. So a mouse might live a couple of years and a bat could live up to 40, even though they have the same metabolic rate. What do I mean by that? Well, if we look back in biology years ago, we used to think that lifespan was associated with how heart fast essentially your heart beats, how fast your metabolic rate was, until we met these two very closely related relatives, the bat and the mouse, same metabolic rate, but one of them lives uh, quite exponentially longer. So another species that's very interesting is the axiotl salamander, and it's actually been widely studied. And what's so interesting about it is it can regenerate whole limbs, its tail, and now let's get interesting, its brain and its spine. So how could that help people with spinal injuries or brain damage? it could be significant. And all of this is just different genes being turned on at different times. So we can learn a lot from these organisms that might create optimal health. Today, when you go out into the world, whether you're looking at plants or animals, I want you to think about the technology that they have and how one might adapt that technology for the better future of human health. Share, follow, participate, advocate, and, um, and stay tuned. Please like our page. Thanks, bye.